Hi, good morning, everybody, and this is Baskar. You're watching Baskar Time. Please subscribe the channels and like the videos. And today, looking for the interfacing program of LPC 1768 triangular waveform generator. Generator. So, if you want to understand this program, you need to know how to get a positive ramp as well as negative ramp. By combination of my positive ramp as well as negative ramp, easily you'll get my triangular waveform. If you want to understand this one, you need to understand the previous program. So if you understand the positive and negative ramp, then easily you can understand. Okay. So just see here, what is the logic 7? We are looking for LPC 1768, use it to generate a positive ramp. So logic, it is we use it at 8-bit that. For 8-bit minimum value, it is 0, 0. And maximum value, it is FF. So it's very simple. So previously, we had discussed 0, 0 to FF. If you want to get means, we are looking for one for loop. The count is equal to zero, count less than FF, and count plus plus. If I want to decrease the count, means initial value I'll take on an FFF, and gradually should be this decreases. So FFF, and it is greater than zero, looking for count of minus minus. Simple logic, and uh, what we are going to use. So next step, it is what is the program format? It's, as usually, it's considered two section: initialization section and forever section. Initialization section consists of some library files and initialization. Forever section it consists of a while loop because the process will be continuously should be this repeated because this I need to generate a triangular waveform continuously in order to get this one looking for that. So next, what is the when come to algorithm? What is the first step? The first step it is looking for an header files. Initialize the header files. LPC one seven six eight. So initialize. So hash include LPC one seven x x dot h. So next step it is. So initialize the port. Which port we are going to use? The port already in all the DAC experiments looking for port zero and pin number port to eleven only. So if for first I need to select in the port. So looking for pin select register. Pin select register, if I'm going to looking for pin number 4 to 11 means generally you get the uh, pin select 0 only. That's why LPC pin configuration, I'm looking for pin select 0. And the pins, what I'm looking for, see after 4 bit only, after 4 only I'm looking for here it is 4 to 11 bits. I'm going to make it 0, 0. If by making 0, 0, it acts as a GPI or general purpose input output. Similarly, looking for, I'm looking for this FIO direction register in a GPIO, you have one more special register FIO DR. If I make it is in a 1 1, 1 1 means if you configure this one, you'll get FFF. If you make it an FFF, means it acts as a output. If it is 0 0, means it acts as an input because we are connected to CRO, you to be hacked as an output. Okay, next it is. For loop, so I already told that when one come to positive ramp, I'll take an account value to zero, gradually increases increases up to it is FFF. And I already told this one also because high is an integer. So next video we'll see that okay. At the finally we're looking for added to the FIO pin. See, high is in an integer. What we are going to take in 32 bit value, it's a tag port, it is port 42, port 11. After left shift, four bits may count the value loading. So I can't put this one. If you put high, the value what you are getting the count value directly loaded to zero bit. So I don't want that one. I need to load after four bits. That's why I'm looking for left shift of four bits. Okay, LPC GPIO FIO pin. I'm loaded my high value. So high value it is shifting my count value loaded for FIO pin. So next looking for okay, this is a why we are going to use. See, it is for down count. So maximum value FFF 0, 0, count minus minus. So this way looking for positive RAM. So it's very simple logic. If you understand positive RAM, negative RAM is get. If you want to get this one, you'll get the FFF. So maximum um, 0 to you'll get maximum FFF, next FFF to it is zero zero. So in order to get the continuous loop, I'm looking for in the while loop. By taking the while loop, the process will be repeated continuously. Thank you for watching. So if you want to clear explanation in the software, please see in the next video. I consolidated both positive ramp, negative ramp, and triangular value into a single video. Please follow that. Thank you.